Are you looking for a B gun? Want to save up on cost yet get a spectacular gun? Well, then you're in the right place for we have for you the 6 best cheap guns of 2023. Don't believe that guns can perform without compensating on a cost? Well, then stay till the end to be proven wrong. Number 1. Ruger Wrangler When it was released in April of 2019, the Ruger Wrangler costing $279 wowed plinking enthusiasts everywhere. Single action 22 LR revolver is just over $210. The Ruger Wrangler Frim Fire is not a cheap gun, contrary to popular belief, even though it is less expensive than other guns, its quality is not at all subpar. This is not one of the awful guns you can buy for a few dollars, though there are certainly some out there. The Wrangler Rimfire revolver is somewhat unique. The hammer is turned off and the cylinder is free to spin in any direction by opening the loading gate. Fans of SAA are aware that if you miss a chamber, you must completely circle the area to find it. The good news is that the Wrangler, which uses a transfer wire firing mechanism, can be loaded with all six rounds without risk. This means that up until the actual firing, the firing pin is retracted. On an original SAA, the firing pin is always active as it's fixed to the hammer and can come to rest against a live primer if the shooter isn't careful, which is why most carry on an empty chamber. Number 5. The Smith & Wesson Model MNP Bodyguard 38 Special The Smith & Wesson Model MNP Bodyguard 38 Special is not only cheap at $348, but also lightweight and easy to conceal. The pull of the Dow trigger was smooth despite only having 5 shots. It is ideal for concealed carry. The MNP Bodyguard 38 stands out because of its lightweight, light, smooth trigger pull and large accessible sights. Additionally, the Bodyguard 38 could be drawn effortlessly from a coat or pant pocket thanks to its snag-free exterior. A soft case is included with the Bodyguard 38. The polymer grip and side panels on this revolver significantly reduce weight. The stainless steel barrel has an aluminum shroud that completely covers the ejector rod and the frame is made of aluminum alloy. The excess metal removed by SNW from the muzzle and around the ejector rod was excellent. The Bodyguard 38 had the longest ejector rod of the three revolvers, which made it easier for the shooter to quickly empty the gun. The front ramp sight is pinned into the barrel shroud so you can change it to match a particular load or to a more visible front sight. Like an XS Sight System Standard Dot Tritium, the top strap is the rear sight, which is a large squared-off groove that has been milled into it to reduce sun glare. The gun has a few haters, but satisfies the majority of the crowd. Number 4. NAA Revolvers Mini These guns are small in size and in cost at $255. NAA Revolvers are best known for their mini revolvers, despite making the Guardian a semi-automatic handgun. Some people enjoy these small guns for their size, while others enjoy the novelty of holding a small gun. Do you desire to be Andre the Giant? These revolvers ought to be yours. Why wouldn't people carry backup weapons like the 22 m holster grip with them at all times? These little guys have proven to be dependable. Like many other revolvers, despite being slow and occasionally a little challenging to reload, there are 8 or 9 main varieties of NAA's Mini revolvers, each with a variety of designs, finishes, and occasionally caliber options. It would be impossible to list all of the available barrel length, barrel style, cylinder style, frame style, sight, grip, and finish options here. There are four different calibers available, 22 short, 22 LR, 22 WMR, also known as 22 Magnum, and 22 cap and ball. The 22 short caliber has a small cylinder with a matching frame that only accepts shorts. However, even the largest mini is still incredibly small. Number 3. Taurus 856 38 Special The 856, which costs $278, has a trigger pull that is consistent whether it is in double action or single action mode. It also has a small grip that feels like a large grip, and it has 6 shots in about the same amount of space as a revolver with 5 shots. The cost is manageable. This year, Taurus introduced the 856, a six-shot alternative to the five-shot concealable revolvers in the Model 85 series. The revolver's weight and width were only slightly increased by the additional capacity for rounds. We suspect that the 856 would have been heavier and less suitable for concealed carry if Taurus had chambered it in 38 Special Plus P. The new textured grip is comfortable to use by hand and only slightly bulks up the revolver. The crane-to-frame fit was tight, and the plain matte black finish was executed well. The front of the cylinder is secured to the frame by a detent in the crane's top. 
A round pin in the extractor secures the cylinder to the rear. The hole for the pin is in the back of the frame. The 856 has no wiggle room. The majority of shooters are able to comfortably wrap their small fingers at the very edge of the butt, making the grip feel natural in the hand. The revolver was slightly taller with this grip than with the other two, but concealed carry was not hindered by it. The revolver's six-shot capacity and compact hand-filling grips minimized felt recoil and did not make it overly bulky. The sights ensured large and simple operation, although some preferred that the 856 be compatible with plus P ammunition, but we should be aware that gaining this capacity might have necessitated sacrificing weight and profile. Number 2 Smith & Wesson Model 637-238 Special Plus P for a concealable revolver, the 637 had all the right qualities and features, like a consistent trigger pull, DA or SA trigger mode, lightweight grip that absorbs recoil, and a low cost of $389. The 637-2 is more reminiscent of a 1950s era Smith. It uses a stainless steel barrel and cylinder and a lightweight aluminum frame to cut weight. On the right side, the roll is marked air weight. The 637-2 is actually a variant of the Model 37 Chief's special air weight, and it combines those tried and true characteristics of the original with modern characteristics. It is one ounce heavier than the Bodyguard 38. A foam-lined hard plastic case houses the 637-2. The aluminum frame appears slightly lighter in tone than the barrel and cylinder due to the matte silver finish. Matte black is used for the hammer and trigger. It has a sharp appearance. The traditional cylinder latch is on the left side of the revolver. It has a coarse texture and is small, making it easy to grip when you press it forward to swing the cylinder out. When a speed loader is being used, it won't bother you. A spin in the extractor that fits into a hole in the back of the frame secures the five-shot cylinder in the back. The detent in the underbarrel lug and the tip of the ejector rod provide the front lockup. There was none at all, the crane and frame were mating tightly. The cylinder turned against the clock, the textured rubber grip is excellent because it has palm swells to fill your hand and has a small footprint, making it easier to conceal carry. It was necessary for all shooters to curl their small fingers under the butt. It was convenient, the 637 is still being built for a reason why fix something that isn't broken. It is believed that the 637-2 has the right balance of weight, power, and shooting comfort. It is a tried and true design with excellent sights, a comfortable DA trigger pull, and a great grip. And at number 1, Heritage Rough Rider. Our final revolver is also the most affordable ranging from $130 to $225, the Heritage Rough Rider. The Heritage Rough Rider single-action revolver is made with modern materials and cutting-edge precision machinery based on well-known Old West revolvers. This ensures tight cylinder lockup and superior fit and finish for maximum accuracy and dependability. A red dot indicator tells you when the safety is disengaged and the weapon is ready to fire. A hammer block that is mounted in the recoil shield provides an additional layer of safety by ensuring that the hammer will not fall on the primer if the revolver is dropped. An aluminum frame keeps the weight down and resists corrosion, while a barrel and cylinder made of blued carbon steel provide strength and durability where it matters. A fixed notch rear sight and a blade front sight offer quick, intuitive target acquisition. The Heritage Rough Rider is a fun-to-use single-action replica of a 22 lr plinker. The Heritage Rough Rider 22 caliber revolver is chambered for 22 lr and 22 Magnum cartridges and has a tight cylinder lockup. For the best barrel, cylinder gap, and best ammunition performance, the machine barrel is micro-threaded before being inserted into the frame. For style and functionality, the exotic Cocobolo grips accompany the flat-sided hammer. The Cocobolo grips panels conform to the authentic western look and provide a solid grip. There are numerous grip options available for this wheel gun, which ships in a variety of finishes. This gun is also available in a variety of barrel lengths from 4.75 inches to the traditional 16 inches bunt line. Well, did you take your pick to buy? Are you happy to have saved some money? Well then, consider thanking us by hitting that subscribe button. But in case you don't feel like you know the market enough, then check out You Will Never Regret Buying These 10 Guns Under $1,000. And for more such smart choices, see you next time. Bye for now.